Today, I'm going to show you customer match lists in Google Ads in 2024. We'll do a walkthrough of how to add customer match lists in Google Ads, and I'm going to show you how to do this in the old interface and also in the new Google Ads UI that some of you are using. So regardless of which user interface you are using, I got you covered. Timestamps are in the description below if you want to skip ahead to the bit with the new UI. During the video, I'm going to show you a standard manual upload of your customer match lists. Plus, I will show you the pro way to automate this by connecting Shopify and Zapier. By the way, for the rest of the video, I am going to hand you over to one of my team members, Dimitri. You will walk through the steps with him. So over to you, my man, Dimitri, to take it away. On the account, go to tools and settings. Then you need to go to audience manager. Here you need to click on the plus sign and select customer list. Now select upload a file manually, click on continue. You can name your audience. So I want to upload all buyers from the last uh, 30 days. So I just use this name here. And yeah, you want to select the data type that you would like to upload. So I would recommend you to upload as many data as possible. So if we look at the instruction here, we can upload email, phone number, first and last names, zip code and country. But keep in mind that if you only have email addresses, that would be enough to upload for the start. After I select a name and I choose the data type that I want to upload, I'm going to select a file. I'm going to attach this file here. Then I need to click on this button. Now you can also add a membership duration if you want to. By default, it's set to no expiry. If you want to exclude some users after some certain amount of days, you can specify it here. You can also add a description if you need to, to your audience. After all of that are done, uh, you need to click on save and continue. All right, and uh, keep in mind that uh, it can take up to 24 hours to complete matching customers to segment rules. From my experience, it can take a bit longer than that. So you usually you need to wait one or two days before uh, you will actually see that your uh, list got populated. And now the second option on how you can do that is by using auto updates through Zapier, through a tool called Zapier. So the main advantage of using Zapier is that your lists are going to be updated automatically. So basically Zapier automatically uploads new contact details from your CRM system, e-commerce or marketing automation tool, where you collect users' information to your Google Ads customer lists. So basically this means you don't have to manually upload contacts to Google Ads, sort them into the right list or remove them from your list. You can automatically keep your uploaded customer list refreshed and synced with your CRM. So again, go to your customer list here and then you need to connect a new data source. Basically, you can select quite many different data sources. I will show you an example by using Shopify. Uh, so select Shopify here and then select sort part integration by Zephyr. Then you need to click on continue. And now the name of the audience is going to be the same because I want to upload all buyers from last 30 days. And now if you do the integration in Zapier beforehand and connect it to Google Ads, then you will see your list here. But you can also do an int integration from the Google Ads interface. You would need to log into your uh, Zapier account here and uh, connect to Shopify and the event that you want. And you can also select a membership, membership duration and uh, you can uh, add a description to your audience and when it's done, you need to click on save and continue and basically your audience is going to be created. Now I will show you how to upload a customer match list um, in a new interface. So to do that, go to tools, then go to shared library and select audience manager here. Click on a plus sign and click on a customer list. So here you'll see the same options as we have seen in an old interface. So you can either upload a file manually or connect with data source. You can also select an exi existing source if you have already done the integration. So select upload a file manually, can click on continue. Then you can add an audience name, select that data type that you want to use. Then you can attach your file in here. And yeah, click on this button and click on save and continue. So as you can see, the process is identical to the old interface. 
And now it's going to be the same if you want to do a Zephyr integration. So you want to connect basically a new data source. So let's say you have a Shopify account, so you can select it here. Uh, use third party integration by Zephyr. And yeah, you will see that all the steps are identical. So we don't want to select templates. And we can connect our Zephyr account here. After everything is done, you can click on save and continue. Right, so in this video, I showed you how to upload customer match lists to your account, both in the new and old interface. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Dimitri, for that. So guys, once you have your customer match lists added, you need to actually add them as audience segments in your campaign before they actually take any effect. So check out this video here next. In this video, I will show you how to add audience segments to your Google Ads campaign the right way so that you can actually start taking advantage of your new customer match lists, as well as all the other powerful audience segments capabilities Google Ads has.